All right. So let us do one more exercise from Python for loops. I am now going to display the tables. Okay. So initially I will say t equals input. What tables would you like to display? And I will take the input that will be t. And as and always, you know, I'll say t equals int of t so that it becomes a number. Otherwise, you know, we have seen this already. It becomes difficult to handle. It becomes character string otherwise. Okay. So now, um, print t simply just like that. Let's see what this what happens here so that we know we are going the right way. I input 10 here and it says 10. But what I want is the 10 tables here. You see, how do I do that? Print t comma and then there must be a multiplication symbol one comma and then is equal to and then the answer t into one right what's happening here observe let me run this and then see what tables would you like to display 10 tables so 10 1 times is 10 is displaying right so let me display 10 2 times 2 times is equal to t times 2 whatever that t is see what tables would you like to display 10 so 10 ones are 10 10 twos are 20 so again let me run instead of 10 if i type 8 it will display 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 correct so let me go up to some let's say one more um so how do i do that print let me go up to 3 x 3 comma equals comma t times 3 execute this this time let me display 10 itself 10 ones are 10 10 twos are 20 10 threes are 30 remember your tables right i now want this to be displayed 10 times as you know for that i may have to use a for okay for so let's see how i'm going to use it okay for i in range 10 print t comma x and then here 1 2 3 is given right i want that to be i here as i varies from 0 to 10 i comma equals t times i so the point is you see a pattern here the pattern is 1 2 3 that pattern is replaced by this formula so how do we do that we do that by replacing this pattern by a for loop here okay all right so let me now remove these things okay so let's see what happens i run the file it is showing me some error that's because i haven't put a comma here let me put a comma here okay again run what table do you like to display 10 tables perfect starts from zero you see that's because for loop starts from zero 10 zeros z is zero 10 one times is 10 10 two times it goes up to nine that's because i in range 10 means from zero to nine if you make this 11 and then run uh, 10 here and then you will see that it goes up to 100 right isn't that fun you can now display any tables let me now display two tables perfect three tables perfect 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 four Perfect. That was all tables from 2 to 10, right? So this is the power of programming where you need not necessarily display tables from 1 to 10, rather 0 to 10. You can go on up to any number you want by 
specifying it here you have now learned everything of for loop almost this much is enough for you to start using for loop very good